With me, Grantham Town Manager Louis Brown. Right, Louis, uh, a good afternoon in the end for the Gingerbreads, but uh, a deserved win in the end, I think, against a battle of opposition. Yeah, I thought, it was, I thought it was a really, really poor game. But I've, I've said before, sometimes we've, I've come on here and we played really well and we got zero points. So it's nice to be on the end of when you haven't played very well and you've got three points. And it's probably just the elation of, of what's been probably a couple of, like, difficult, difficult couple of weeks. And um, three points definitely is a lot nicer. Yeah, exactly. And uh, made a promising start, defending well against a, a side that were keen to make breaks. And when they couldn't, a couple of players giving a bit of trouble. Certainly the number 11 for Coventry Sphinx up the wing there. It was a bit of a challenge. Yeah, we, we knew their friends. Um, they're still a good sign. They, they, they can't attack very well, and probably they look more friendly when we had the ball. So we had to be careful. Um, but I thought, obviously, I'm so happy for Darlo to get two goals, even though probably a little bit scruffy. It's great for a striker to score goals. So overall, we probably shaded it on chances and probably deserved it. Um, but we still need to be miles back because it wasn't good enough today. But we played well and lost, so I'll take it. Well, that's the thing. And I say, yeah, slightly scrappy goals. But yeah, well, well deserved in that respect, for certainly for Lewis for there, Darlington there. And against the side that are higher up in the table. And we, we do seem to play at times better against higher placed teams. Yeah, no, to be fair, I said that. I thought, um, I thought when we played Anstey and Klaus in the last two, we were really, really good. I thought we dropped our levels a little bit today. Um, and, and, and they probably should have put it just a few times but you know sometimes you get the, the rub of the green and uh, I think we probably got it today because I thought I didn't think we were very good but you know we'll take the three points I'm going to keep saying we're going to take the three points and we're going to enjoy the three points and, and we've got another big game next weekend uh, that's it we do, we do take the three points every time uh, just the second half though probably performance went down a little uh, obviously two in four substitutions through injury or nothing too serious I hope I don't know, obviously with three in it with Bovich, Brad and, and Baz, so we're going to have to check on them for next week. Um, it is what it is, unfortunately, we've got to try and get through it. Um, but yeah, second half, I thought even with the chances, I thought we probably still shaded it. I don't think Kurt's made the save in the second half in terms of a really good save. It's all been coming for crosses and corners and headers into the box and, um, and, and from there. So now, overall, I'm happy um, and probably the, the scoreline could have had a nicer reflection if we took the counter-attacks near the end of the last 20, 25 minutes. Uh, yep, fair enough. We did take the attacks, and uh, the game kind of ended a bit of a bit of confusion. But I won't dwell on that. But like you said earlier, three points is three points. We'll take that win. Exactly. You know, the, at the end of the game, where two teams are battling for, for points, and it would probably want the, the prettiest game to watch. But that's probably why why what happened at the end happened because both teams are probably a little bit disappointed with the ref overall. But uh, you can't control the ref sometimes. So it's about well, our performance. It was good enough today to win the game. It wasn't good enough for we won, but it was good enough to win the game, and um, and I'm happy enough. Louis Thank you. Cheers, thank you.